Are you guys up for another split bat video? Well, I am. I already released a grain to glass video of this beer, which I fermented with this new China, new for me, this angel yeast, Chinese yeast, which costs only a fraction of like normal varieties, we normally use, sorry, BF16. So you can go and check that video out. And also in that video you have the, the recipe for this beer. But I also did a split batch. I'm going to try that out today. Because uh, I also fermented uh, some of the, the wort with W3470. The vice to find a strain from Fermentis. Saflager, yes. So, let's just get started. I'm Dr. Hans, this is Dr. Hans Brewer, my channel about beer and homebrew. So if you want to learn with me how to compare with beer and brewing, consider becoming a subscriber to join the madness. Of course, hit that little bell so you get notifications when I put out new videos. Don't miss any killer content going into 2021 and help out by smashing that like button. And if you're just here to troll, don't forget to hit the dislike button twice for double the impact. The recipe for this beer, as I said, is already up in the big Dr. Hans recipe book for my patrons to dig into. But yeah, I also run through the recipe in the, the video or links down below in the description. In the split batch, they both fermented out the, uh, the same. It was a 1042 wort. Yes, we're going for a little lower ABV. Fermented out to, to 1011, which would give us 4.2% beer. This one is a little bit more carbonated, but this was fermented under pressure. It's a naturally carved beer, but someone, I'm not saying who, has been stealing a more from the, the bigger vessel. So might need to like push some gas on this. Now, that aside, color wise, they are about the same. The BF16 is a little bit more clear. This is a slight haze on the W3470s. This was fermented under pressure. Fermented is out in about five days, but they has now been conditioning for about two weeks. I haven't fined them with anything other than some Pruta flock, which is like word flock in the boil. Both holding ahead, but of course this is more carved, so it's pushing ahead a little bit better. We have some peaking values, really nice, tight, white head and uh, both quite clear this is a little bit more hazy this is the 3470 let's give it a nose this is a super clean beer get some of this like lagerish not like sulfur or anything like that but some of these lager tones some grainy sweetness some it's not very hoppy, but some citrusy there. Let's try the 3470. This is much more estuary. So this is... This is cleaner. This has really has that um, W3470. I, I really dig the, the W3470 yeast. I use that a lot. So it has a special like uh, flavor and aroma. So this is more like estuary. Nothing bad with that, but it is what it is. And this is more like clean. So let's uh, taste them. Cheers. Double fisted. Mm, some grainy. Sweetness, nice level of bitterness. Not spicy, but nice bite to it from the bitterness. We do have some like citrusy thing going on. Let's try the 3470. Here I get the flavor from the fermentation more, so it's it's more esters. I get more of like the, the, the grains and the hops in this one. And here I get more of the, uh, the lager character. 
but I am a sucker for the 3470. I always try to call like a winner in this, but I, I think I mentioned that in the the Verdant vs USO5. Just sneak that video in here also, you can check that out, all links down below. Coring a winner is not like saying that one yeast is better than the other, it's just for that beer or for that purpose. Here, I would say, if I would go for like a super simple beer, I, the 3470 brings a lot more flavors from the yeast. But if I would like to highlight the, the hops or the grains, maybe the BF16 is your best friend. <laughs> so if we gonna core a winner today, Two really nice beers. This is a little bit colder, but still more. This is has still more flavor, more like yeast flavor, not yeast, but ester flavor. Sorry. I'm gonna call a winner today. Being a simple beer, I would call the W3470 as the the winner, but. Looking at the price difference with this yeast, I used five bags because I ferment this hot under pressure. But if I would have done this for my big vessel with the BF16, if I would have done this at lager temperature, really cold, I would have used double that. It would have been 10 bags. It would have been a, a lot of money. The difference would so can count that in also, but today we're just talking about flavors and the beers I have in front of me. So both extremely good beers, of course I brewed them. Putting out these videos takes a lot of effort, so if you want to help out, and a big thank you to all of you gals and gals who are supporting me, if you want to help out, I have Patreon and channel membership for even more content, and of course just buy me a beer, all links down below. So, cheers guys, hope to see you in the next one. Dr. Hans out. Let's uh, pick the, of course, winner for today. W3470. Cheers, Dr. Hans out.